In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your digitally owned PS3 games and use them on RPCS3. Alright, the time has finally come to tackle our digital PS3 content for use in RPCS3 emulation. Now, I spent a bit of time looking over all the methods available, and I was really hoping to find a way to do this without needing a modded PS3 system, but the methods that have been outlined just haven't been the most reliable for me so we are going to instead rely on modded techniques because they are just way easier to get done and more reliable. But once you have everything in place the process is actually rather simple so let's go ahead and dive in. Okay so step one to getting this process started is to have a modded PS3, a jailbroken PS3. So I posted a video on my channel on how to mod virtually any PlayStation 3 system so that way you can begin to follow along with this video. If you need to mod your PS3, link to this will be in the description below. Next, we're going to need to download a couple of things for our modded PS3. First of all is the Apollo Save Tool by Buccanero. So we're going to download the latest release of this. And again, links will be in the description below, so just go ahead and download the package files. And another optional download you might want to grab is Imarel's uh, Simple file manager for PS3. This is a bit easier than using the Webman mod file manager if you want to do things over USB. So link to this will be in the description below, but again, just grab the latest release. The next thing you're going to need is a FAT32 formatted USB drive of any variety. So flash drive, hard drive, external SSD, just anything. And it just needs to be formatted to FAT32. If you just modded your PS3, you should already have this. If not, just hook up a USB drive that you don't mind formatting to your computer and run a program like GUI format. Make sure your USB drive is selected and then just get it formatted. And there we go. But once you have your USB drive good to go, just go ahead and get it opened up and drag your two package files right into the root directory. And once you have that, we're ready to move over to the PS3. So take your hard drive out of your computer, put it in the PS3. All right, so over on the PS3, I got my USB drive inserted in. I'm going to log into my Homebrew account and enable Hen. So that way we can install these packages. All right, and there we go. So now that Hen is enabled, go down to Package Manager, Install Package Files. Standard, this will look for package files on the root of your USB drive. So hey, there's Apollo, so I'm going to get that one installed. Install completed. And then I'm going to do the same thing for Simple File Manager for PS3. And there we go. So now I have both of my new items installed. Perfect. So before we run things... We are going to need to log back into our main PSN account to use this stuff. But before we get started, you want to make sure that you have your main account activated for games use. So that way it has the license files and you want to download the games and stuff that you want to back up. So I'm going to disable custom firmware and uh, delete my history files real quick. So that is R2 and triangle to delete that stuff. So there we go. And now I'm just going to log into my main PSN account. So again, if you haven't activated your account on your current PlayStation, you go into account management, system activation, PS3 system, and then you can activate it for games. Mine's already activated, so I don't need to worry about that. But you can always re-download it. Anything you've ever bought off of the PlayStation store through the transaction management, uh, window here you can go to download list and then you can just go through and download everything that you want to get backed up so for example like I could download my copy of Umbrella Chronicles again so it'll activate the license on my PlayStation and then begin downloading the game but I'm not gonna wait for this to finish for this video I have stuff already on here that I could back up but again just go through and download everything that you want to you have on your emulated system so if you own any digital ps3 games like just get them all downloaded but once you have everything downloaded and installed that you're ready to back up just i need to restart my playstation 3 so i can re-enable hen all right so i'm just gonna log back into my homebrew account here real quick and enable hen 
All right, now that Hen is re-enabled, we're gonna go ahead and launch into Apollo's save tool for the first time using our homebrew account because I think this program needs to be connected to the internet to do its initial install because for whatever reason, whenever I try to do the install of this program offline, it just results in a black screen that won't load. So this seems to work. So I'm just gonna share that information with all of you. And on first launch, the program will do some setup steps. So just be patient with it while it does its thing. All right, and once the program loads up, we're just gonna go ahead and quit right out of it because we need to do this under our main PSN account, but we just needed to be connected to the internet to get it to install, I think, because every time I've tried to run it without being connected on first run, it wouldn't actually work. But now that we've gotten it running, we need to log back into our main PSN account, so just go ahead and disconnect your PlayStation 3 from the internet now, so that way it won't connect to PlayStation servers and result in a probable ban. So, I just disconnected my PlayStation 3 from the internet, so if I go to my network settings, I could go to here and see that it's not able to find anything, so good to go. But anyway, I'm going to log into my main PSN account. and I'm gonna load back up Apollo's save tool. Now inside of Apollo's save tool, you'll see where your cursor is by the pot that is filled in with black. So there we go. So we're gonna head over to the user backup page over here. Go ahead and enter this. And now go down to the option that says export licenses and press cross. And you can see all of the licenses for all of your digital games listed here. So you can do this for all of your PSN accounts that have bought digital content. But anyway, I'm just going to scroll up to the top again. And we're going to export all licenses as wrap files. So just press cross on this option. And then we're going to save them to our USB drive that should still be connected to your PlayStation. And now all my license files are backed up into a EX folder on my USB drive. Perfect. And that is all we need to do within Apollo save tool to get our digital content backed up. So we can just go ahead and exit out of this utility now. And now I'm just going to go ahead and log back into my homebrew account because I don't like being logged into my um, main PSN account for longer than I need to be. Alright, so back in my homebrew account, I'm going to go ahead and reconnect my Ethernet cable. So you can go ahead and connect your PlayStation 3 back to your internet connection here because there's two methods of backing up to your digital content from this point. So the first one would be to use a file manager like the one that I showed how to install simple file manager. So you could just come in here and it's defaulted into my root. So I'm just going to go down to system and open that up. And then I need to navigate down to HDD zero. So this is where all of your um, PS3 game data is going to be stored and find the game folder that is all lowercase. And now over on the right panel, so you can use R and R1 and L1 to navigate between panels. So on this panel, I'm going to enter my USB drive. There we go. And now I could just begin backing up all of the content within this folder. So all I need to do is scroll down to a game that I want to have on my RPCS3. So anything that starts with NP is a digital package file. So, for example, MPUB30648, I believe this is Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles. So, I'm just going to press rectangle to copy this content. And it'll say, do you really want to copy these folders and files? So, just say yes, and then you can let it do its thing. And you get a nice progress bar, which is really convenient. And now the second method of copying things over would be to use FTP. So if you hold down the select button on your controller, it should bring up the VSH menu for Webman. And you'll notice on the right side of that menu, you have your firmware, network connection, and then an IP address. So make note of your IP address right there. So now over on your computer, you can open up an FTP program like FileZilla or what have you. 
and then just type in the IP address that was given. And it's going to say, hey, this isn't a very secure connection, which is fine. It's a local connection, so who cares? But there we go. Now we have access to our PS3's internal file system. So same process. Just go to dev HDD0. Navigate to the game folder. That is all lowercase because games is where you'd put like your own, uh, own stuff. But game folder. And then again, MP... Folders are your digital content typically, so I'm going to copy over Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles to my desktop. Actually, it's going to get mad if I do that way. So I'm just going to select my desktop over here. There we go. And I'm going to copy it over. And then just wait for it to do its thing. But regardless of whichever file transfer method you decide to use, make sure that you do clear out your custom firmware syscalls and history before logging back into your main PSN account by holding down... R2 and triangle. Alright, there we go. And then just get your USB drive connected back up to your PC. And inside you'll find the game that you copied over to USB as well as the EX data folder with all of your wrap files. So I'm just going to delete this one real quick because I also have it right here from transferring it over to FTP. But anyway. Once you have the games that you want to play on RPCS3 ready to go, just open up your RPCS3 folder, navigate to the dev HD00 folder, HDD0 folder, find the game folder, and then drag the content inside. And now when you load up RPCS3, you'll see that your digital content will now populate your games list. But if you try to run it, you'll encounter an error saying that the booting was failed because you don't have a valid license file. Alright, that's no problem. We got those now. So back on our USB drive, EX data, there's all of our license files from all of our owned PSN content. And to install this into RPS3 is really simple. Just drag it over to the main window and let it do its thing. And now when we load up our digital content, Everything should boot as intended, and I already compiled the shader, and I already compiled the SPU caches for this game, so it boots right up. But there we go, now I am able to enjoy my digital PS3 content on RPCS3. But there you have it, the process for backing up your digitally owned PS3 games and using them in RPCS3. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it has helped you get your PS3 emulation projects further along and allows you to keep your digitally owned games long past the lifetime of the PS3 system itself. But I do have a couple of huge favors to ask here at the end. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like-dislike button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as hitting that sub button and ringing the notification bell so you can see when new content goes live on the channel. I have loads coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keeping it running, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping us going and bringing this content to all of you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, thank you for believing what we do here and helping us keep it going. But until next time my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.